लिव ट्वेंटी सिक्स अब एंटरटेनमेंट कभी भी कहीं भी Good evening, everybody. Thank you, Dr. Merutra, for those wonderful words of introduction. It is my pleasure and privilege, firstly, to be here, and I congratulate the SK Foundation for the wonderful work that you're doing. Um, what does fitness mean to me? It's become a way of life. Um, first, I have to say, it's never too late to embark on a journey of fitness. Uh, I think now in my 40s, after having my son, I am the strongest and fittest I've ever been. So just remember, it's never too late to start. Uh, it's not important to go to the gym. It's not important to do Pilates. What's important is you should stay active. You should eat mindfully, eat with awareness. Um, healthy eating is a very loose term, I'm told, so we shouldn't uh, use that. But yeah, so living a healthy lifestyle is finding something that is sustainable, something you can do for a period of time. It's not just about getting into one diet after another. It's about eating generally with awareness. And of course, you're allowed to cheat now and then because what's life without a little, without a little bit of chocolate, right? So the important thing is to find your way back, not fall off the wagon. Uh, the important thing is balance. I think uh, after becoming a mother, I realized balance is probably the most important thing in life. So yeah. And I know we, you were talking us about uh, telling us about how you travel from one place to the other to the other, and within one week you could be in five different countries, and and uh, you could have so many different time zones. So how do you actually stay and keep on schedule? Well, when being healthy and leading a fit life is your lifestyle and you find ways somehow or the other. This morning I wanted to go for a run. I'm in the heart of uh, New York City at the moment. I'm staying there and I wanted to go for a run and yeah, be active this morning but it was a cloudy, wet morning. So I did go to the gym. I, I give everybody this, this, um, this small equation. In 24 hours of every day, if we're lucky, we get seven hours of sleep. That leaves you with 17 hours. In 17 hours, can you not pull out 45 minutes for yourself? I think all of us can. So there's no excuse of I don't have the time. There's no excuse of I'm way too busy because nobody is that busy. In 17 hours, you can't take out 45 minutes for yourself. And for those people who say, you know, I can't make it to a gym, then you know what? Go for a walk because a walk means the moment you finish tying your shoelaces, your workout can start, right? And uh, I think a lot of uh, the, uh, I guess my generation, uh, they are to watch you on um, Shanti and so on, but they sit there and watch TV, right? So what can they do and how can they stay you know, active while watching TV? Oh, stop jogging. Can I show you how it's done? <laughs> Jumping jacks. Jump squats, there's so many things, push-ups you can do. In fact, I do a lot of my, the days I don't make it to the gym, um, I have, I have a cross trainer in my room. I have a spinning bike in my restroom. So I make sure I do something. And if I, if I don't want to use any equipment, there's plenty of exercise you can do in front of a television. In fact, I find the whole process of watching something and exercising together with it very sort of invigorating. So, the important thing is be active. Even march on the spot. Something. A lot of women will say it's 